Hi everybody, you're looking to prepare and revise for your paper 3 examination, a very very important exam considering it's weighted exactly the same as your paper 1 and your paper 2. I'm going to give you a series of tips in this video to make sure that you guys can revise effectively and then you can go into the exam and smash it. There are so many unknowns with this exam, hopefully this video will give you exactly what you need and just calm you down to prepare effectively for that exam. Tip number one for you guys is to focus on your micro and macro knowledge. Paper 3 is a synoptic paper, it brings together micro and macro. There is no Paper 3 specific knowledge at all, just your micro and your macro. So do not over prepare and try and learn all these random things that are not in your micro and macro syllabus. Go over that content, that's what you need. There is no specific Paper 3 content at all. So don't go over preparing, your micro and macro skills will be enough. Paper 3 specific knowledge does not exist. It's a synoptic paper. Very important start. Tip number two is an absolutely huge thing. You've got to make sure, guys, that you know paper three inside out. Regardless of the board you're with, go and get the structure of the exam. Make sure you know it perfectly, but also make sure that you've got the exam technique that you need for every single question. Now, hmm, where can you get that from? Well, luckily for you, I have made videos for AQA, Edexcel, OCR, all the videos about paper three. Structure, my tips for you to smash it, exam technique for every single question. It's all there on my channel. Go and find it. I'll put it on my channel homepage right at the top for you to see. What I'll also do is I'll link it in the description to this video below. But watch every single video. That has got to be a go-to place for you to smash paper three to make sure that you're fully prepared for everything that you need to do. So watch those videos. Massive, massive, massive tip. My third piece of advice, guys, is for you to relax about this paper. Don't worry too much because the style of questions that will come are very, very similar to what you've done in paper one and paper two. There are only some slight differences and those differences are not a big deal at all. It's the same core skills that you've used in paper one and paper two. They'll be tested again in paper three, so don't worry too much about it. And another thing that will really help you guys out is that in paper three, you're gonna have extract material, lots and lots of data for you to use. It's basically like an investigation. So a lot of the answers that you need for the questions will be in the data, will be in the extracts. Uh, a lot of the micro and macro effects that you need to focus on will be in the extracts. So just relax. Again, don't feel like you need to over prepare and study so many extra things to what you know already. Not going to be the case at all. Trust that the examination will have question styles that are very similar, testing core skills that you already know, and that the data will be really, really helpful. The extract material will be really helpful when that examination comes. My next piece of advice is for AQA and OCR students. At the start of your paper three, you're going to have 30 multiple choice questions to do, and boy, they are simple questions. Gifts from the economics gods, guys. Really, really easy questions. A great chance for you to maximize your marks and get more than 90% really should be your target on multiple choice. But the only way you're going to get there is through practice, practice, practice. Multiple choice questions need a heck of a lot of practice. I've given loads and loads of tips for you of how to do really well with multiple choice on my multiple choice video for both AQA and OCR in my paper three playlist. Go and check that out, it's important stuff. But basically practice questions. If you're an AQA student, the old style AS multiple choice questions are brilliant for you to test your year one content. And I'm sure your teacher has given you or you found your, yourself some uh, resources to help you with year two multiple choice content. Practice, 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 and you'll be absolutely fine on multiple choice. Uh, easy way to score big marks. And if you're OCR as well, no doubt that you've got lots of resources, lots of places to go for multiple choice questions. Practice those well. Make sure you do a good job. You should be getting at least, really, 24, which is 80%, but aim for 27 at least. 90%, a great way for you to hit the big, big marks. To let you know, guys, some multiple choice questions. I've released a video called Equations and Conditions, all the key equations and conditions for the entire economics course in one video. Make sure you watch that video. That video is perfect for multiple choice questions and for calculation questions that will come in your examinations. Very, very, very useful to watch that video to make sure you're happy with all the equations and conditions. They are often tested in multiple choice, so watch that video for perfection. If you're an AQA student, the other three questions that will come in the exam is a 10, a 15, and a 25. The 15 and 25 marker is exactly the same style as what you've already done in paper one and paper two. So following the same technique, the same guidance there, you'll be 100% fine. The 10 marker is a slightly different style of question. Uh, assess using data question, right? 
I've covered the technique for that video in my Paper 3 playlist for AQA. Go and check that out and then again practice that style of question. There are a few questions for you already uh, to go through and to have a look at. Practice those, do those and you'll realize that this is again a very simple question. You don't need to over prepare for it. Following the tips and guidance and skills in my technique video, you'll be absolutely fine. And for OCR students, all the other questions you've essentially done already in paper one and paper two. The technique is exactly the same, easy stuff. So I repeat, go and watch all the videos in my exam technique playlist that cover paper three, the structure and also the technique, and you'll be fine, absolutely fine. But practice is the key for you guys, for sure. For NXL students, you're gonna have a five, an eight, and a 12 marker to do in both section A and section B, but look, you've already done those questions, haven't you, in paper one and paper two. The style of question is exactly the same. The technique to answer the question is exactly the same as what you've done already. So nothing new there, just need to answer the question in paper three, bearing in mind that you'll have a lot of extract and data material to help you as well, but nothing to shock you or to surprise you with those questions at all. The only difference for you guys is that your 225 markers, so one in section A and one in section B will be a micro and macro effects question. That's what you're going to have to be discussing and that is a bit unique and that does require some different kinds of skills really. But luckily for you, I've covered exactly how to answer that question uh, in my 25 mark exam technique video uh, for Edexcel paper 3. And I've also made a couple of videos on how to nail the micro and macro effects part of that question. I go through it in minute detail and really make sure that you guys know exactly what to do and what micro effect and what macro effects to look for. It's not difficult with practice, but again, there are videos on my channel which will make you amazing at that with practice. The specimen papers and other papers that are out there for you to use, go and use those to practice and you'll be absolutely fine for that. Nothing to worry about, just practice knowing the style of questions that are gonna come up in your exam. My next piece of advice, guys, is really, really important. Nobody knows what's gonna come in paper three, and don't believe that anybody does. So if anybody comes out there and says, oh look, paper three potential essays, or here's what the topic will be in paper three, totally reject it, there is no way of knowing. So from me, no predictions, no potential essays, no clues, because nobody knows, guys, and it would be a very, very dangerous tactic to take shortcuts like that. Not worth it, definitely, definitely avoid doing so. You need to make sure that your micro and your macro knowledge is learned. So you need to re-revise all your micro and macro, make sure it's solid because anything can come up from micro, from macro, anything can come up. You've got to be prepared for that, okay? So revise everything, don't look for shortcuts, don't look for quick ways to revise, don't look for easy options with potential essays and predictions, ridiculous advice, ignore it if anyone says that to you. But um, a great, great general advice I want to give you is to trust your ability. Trust the core content that you've learned already in micro and macro. It is that that is going to be tested. The core skills that you've learned for paper one and paper two will be tested again in paper three. So focus on those core skills, focus on the technique in the videos that I've got already for paper three, and you'll be absolutely fine. Don't feel like you need potential essays and predictions. You don't, you should be fine. One thing I will say though, is that if you go back over my micro potential essay video and my macro potential essay video, the topics that featured in paper one and paper two, great that a lot of them did feature, but the other ones, maybe just bear that in mind, you know, they could be uh, what features in paper three. But like I said, that, that's not a prediction, that's not a potential um, essay question at all, but worthwhile just looking at those other topic areas and making sure that you're 100% okay with that because what examiners might do is still hone in on key topic areas uh, that really featured heavily in the news over the last two years and that's exactly what those two videos will give you. But don't over prepare in those areas. Don't think that, oh, okay, well, they're the areas that are gonna come up, ridiculous. There are no predictions, no potential essays. Focus on your micro and macro content. Re-revise that really, really well. And crucially, watch all my videos on paper three advice, paper three tips, paper three technique. That is the best way to revise the paper three, okay? So to summarize, guys, how are you gonna make sure that you fully prepare and you revise effectively for your paper three exam? Well, the first thing is to remember to learn all your micro and all your macro content. It is that that is going to be tested. Don't over prepare and think that there is stuff outside of that content that will be uniquely tested in paper three. There'll be no shocks. There is no content like that that exists. Trust that content. That will be tested. Trust the core skills that you have and you'll be absolutely fine. The second thing as a summary is to make sure that you watch all of my videos on paper three. 
If you're AQA, you've got videos to watch. If you're at Excel, there are videos to watch. If you're OCR, there are videos to watch. Watch all of those videos, my tips, my structure, and also all the technique videos for paper three. Very easy to find on my channel. Watch that, but also, that very important key equations and conditions video. Very, very, very useful specific material for paper three though that's going to help you, you know, really, really go through those questions with ease. So watch all of those videos. That should be the hub, okay, for paper three specific stuff. Technique, structure, guidance, tips. Focus on everything that's on my channel already there. And the third piece of advice as a summary here is to practice, practice, practice. That's the best way for you to succeed. Do not over prepare. That's the worst thing that you can do. Practice having watched all the videos, knowing the structure and the technique, get the stuff that you already have and just practice questions and you'll be absolutely fine for paper three. Don't worry too much about it. Don't be anxious about it. Don't create stress and panic about it. It's not going to be a tricky exam. There are not going to be any shocks. You'll be fine as long as you follow everything that I've said in this video. All the best guys, Econ Plus Style has got everything you need. Focus on that. You'll be absolutely rocking for your Paper 3 exam. Go for it. I know you will.